Father Mark Russler and uh, Trish Lockmer, Director of Faith Formation here at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. And we're at our third week of our message series on witness and we're following the book here, Everyday Witness, and we're in chapter three already. It has an interesting title, Preach from the Pulpit of Life. Preach from the Pulpit of Life. So basically, share what God has done in your life, which I think is pretty cool. Um, the gospel this weekend is the road to Emmaus where Jesus is literally walking with these people on the road, on their life, and they don't even recognize who he is. How often does that happen to us when we don't recognize how God has been part of something that's happened in our lives? Our leadership team meets every week, and our first thing that we do together as uh, prayer is, where have you seen God this week? Your closest and furthest moments. And so that really gives us an opportunity to share and be present to one another about where God is and how we can preach from the pulpit of our life mm -hmm. by how we've seen him. When I started, first started reading this chapter here, um, uh, preach from the pulpit of, of life, I just thought of my parents really, because yeah. they're the ones that uh, started me out on this whole journey, so to speak. And uh, they preached from the pulpit of life um, just by living out their Catholic faith um, through prayer and, and through service. And, as you know, this is the Sunday we celebrate First Communions. We right. have two weeks of First Communion, and that's, um, you know, we do preparation for the parish. If they go to Catholic schools, they do preparation there as well. It's, uh, we have RE preparation. There's a lot of preparation that goes into uh, yep. First Communion, but actually it's the, the parents who, um, who preach from the pulpit of life then, that the, their, ch their children then, uh, we're going to learn from them about yeah. what the Eucharist is or what community is. And whether they want to or not, um, that's, the, that's the way it is. Um, every parent from day one, when they have a child, they're preaching from the pulpit of life through what they say and what they do. Well, and from the book, there's a, a great quote. We do not have to go to another town or country to bring the good news, but we are sent to the people in our communities and to whomever our feet take us what is an opportunity you have to bring the good news? Again, just witnessing by either sharing what God has done or by living out through praying, learning, sharing, and witnessing. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I would say my parents too were definitely preached from the pulpit of life. And they didn't, I don't remember, you know, us sitting down and reading the Bible together or any of that kind of thing. But I do remember that my mom had, you know, certain prayer cards and she had, we always went to mass on Sunday at, or excuse me, Saturday night at 4.30. Mass didn't start till five, but I decided that was because she wanted, you know, a half hour where we weren't messing around and we were quiet so she could pray. It might've been the longest time she had to pray all week, but I knew without a doubt that her faith in God was just part of her life. It wasn't a, mm -hmm. you know, a category over here and then she had her other stuff. You mentioned you know, Mass on the weekend. Um, that, that's uh, the whole congregation when they're there are preaching from the pulpit of life by their very presence yeah. that um, we witness to one another. That's one of the reasons why it's important to come to Mass um, is that we witness to one another. I, I see so-and-so there and they see me there. And we reaffirm one another in our faith. We might not even talk to one another, but our very presence then is um, preaching from the pulpit of life. So will you join us this week? Maybe think about when was the last time you shared a God moment, a God story, where you saw God in your life? Maybe that's all your group talks about if you're meeting in a small group this week, about those God moments that you've had in the last week since you came together. So have a great week and preach from the pulpit of your life.